Last week, I brought you a video with my uh, co-star Donnie, and this week, co-star Cece is in the video. So I thought I would continue, uh, I've been continuing my sweep of the first floor, kind of purging <clears throat> things that we don't really need anymore. It's a little bit tricky with the kids' toys because they still play with even some of the really little baby stuff, right? But I think we can pick out a few things that we can pass along. But I thought I'd also take a chance to show you, I don't think I've ever actually shown our playroom setup. I transformed our living slash dining room multifunction area into basically Kid Central. Uh, and Cece's gonna help show that today, right? Yeah. So we're gonna flip the camera around and give you a little tour. Do you want to show us? Yeah. Okay, show us. So this is all of the stuff there was here. And wait, watch this. Wow. Very nice. So we have some of our um, Fisher Price uh, little people, Mickey Mouse yeah. things here yeah. um, that we just have set up on this table for ease of access. But I think I just pan out and show you. This is where you walk in. This is the front of the house. I'm sure I've shown this yeah. some sort of Christmas decorating video before. But anyway, basically, I got one big carpet made that fills the space to ties it together. And this still almost functions in like a living dining area, but the dining area is like a kid's craft table. It's not for actually for dining. Sure, show us what else. So this is the puzzle. Okay, so essentially, I wanted to have shelving for the kids. That's open shelving, easy for them to get to stuff. Obviously, it's a little overrun at the moment, so I think there's a few toys in there that we can pull out that we really don't play with. Um, and then I use bins on the upper shelves for things that have smaller pieces, so I haven't actually taken the time to label these yet, yeah. but there's magnetiles in one. Um, yeah. We've got Legos in there, yeah. more Legos in there. Yeah. These are all like Mickey themed Legos and then all of our little cars in that bin. And we have two of these shelving units flanking the piano. Eventually, you know, maybe some artwork would be nice over there. And then on this side, um, again, it's a little overrun, but actually not too bad, not too bad. We've got some cash registers. We have two because they were both gifts. And again, I've got some like art supplies and different dress up puzzles, um, little tiny pieces of things that I just don't know where else to put. That's kind of the miscellany bin. Our ponies. And then you can show the kitchen. And this is the kitchen. And this is the kitchen. Now I already see that basket can go up to your room because all the baby dolls are in your room, right? So shouldn't we bring that basket up to your room? Sure. And that can also go up to her room because she has her calico critters up in her closet. It's the, yeah. um, the tree house, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's two things we can already move out of this space. But um, basically it's set up for the kids to yeah. have and fun. all of the puzzles and stuff up here. Yeah. Um, the only reason we have the puzzles up high instead of in where I have the other games, which I'll show you in a minute, is so that Donnie doesn't take all the tiny pieces out. We use our project table for projects. Yeah. Like puzzles and dress-up dolls and coloring, right? So there's another little people barn over here. Basically, all of the little people sets, that one and the two Mickey ones, will eventually go into Donnie's room. Um, he still is little, and I don't have any toys Ow. in his room. Be careful, sweetheart. Are you all right? No. As I was saying, these things will eventually go in his room, um, especially I'm going to transition him out of a crib very soon. So uh, once he's out of a crib and has his stuff in his room to play with, like Cece did around this age, all of those things will go up and this will clear up the space a little bit. I do keep coloring stuff accessible to both kids. Um, they're organized by types. I have not pre-tidied this drawer, so you're getting it as it is, but there's crayons, washable of course, and coloring books on this side. And then this side is dedicated to Color Wonder, which if you're not familiar are these markers that don't have pigment unless you use them on special paper. And then they 
have the pigment of the paper. But if you draw on anything with that, you don't see it, which I like. And then I just have a bin for all the plushies that we accumulate. Uh, and then the TP is probably Winnie's favorite, if we're being honest. But the kids do play with it sometimes. I think we can probably pass along the farm to another baby now, because we don't really play with that anymore, do we? Yeah, because it's a baby toy. That's right, it is. So there's a couple things we can already pull out, um, but that's our main toy storage, aside from what I showed you under the coffee table um, in last week's video, which I'll link for you guys. We have a basket with some books there, um, just to have some books in this room too. So let's go look in the family room now, and I'll just show you the... Yeah, you can come. I'll just show you the remaining areas that I have for toy storage. So you saw where we have all the books, the train table. This is not gonna be like this forever. I was just kind of feeling out the train set before I invested in the table. I showed you those bins last week. All of kind of like the older adult age games uh, and puzzles are organized in the bins and in the side, um, what are those called? Side tables over here. Um, Winnie, of course, has her toys. There's just a couple of kids' toys, kids' areas tucked in over here. So we put all of our stuff that's um, for dress-up, kind of make-believe. Just kind of pile it in there, and the kids like to pull that bin out and just go through those things. And then we have our, what are these called? The Mega Blocks. Yeah, I'm going to play with those. We really never play with them, <laughs> except for when, of course, I'm filming a video. But go ahead, Cece, you can play with those. And then lastly... This so is the last area of toy storage over here are a couple of bins and I have some game type things. So we have some magnet doodles and then some games. And this is where I would keep the puzzles if Donnie <laughs> wasn't fond of taking everything out and spreading it all around just for the heck of it. I mean, you can do that anyway with those games. They're just a little easier to tidy up. But the it's been a week and the book Organization is still working out great. Um, and I really, like I said, there's not a ton that I can purge from the toys right now. But I have been able to get the kids involved and get them to give away a few things here and there. And like I said, I think in the next six to 12 months, even more of the baby things will be able to phase out. All right, just a minute, sweetheart. Uh, but I just thought I would do an update. I don't think I've ever like officially shown our play space and our toy storage it's not perfect that's exactly how it is when it's everything's put away nobody's playing with anything right now like that's about as neat as it gets but that's a, that's functional for us and it works for us and i know some people are horrified that i took away the like dining room table and the, the living room couch but we honestly never ever ever use that stuff and now we use that room every day and we really 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 live in it and so it lives up to its name as a living room anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of our toy storage and our play area and i will see you soon with some more spring cleaning updates office is coming i promise all right thanks for watching guys take care cc you want to say goodbye to the goodbye. people wait 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 <laughs> okay you say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, what are you building? Very uh, nice. I'm building a castle. It's lovely. Hi. It's, it's going to be big. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.